Back to weather we go. Paul Bear standing by. That clear sky gave us a great look at. Is it a waning gibbous crescent? What is it, Paul? It's technical. Yes, it's a technical it's a little crescent. Just yes, a, just a little one. That's right. And it's working on sort of like a new moon. So um, before you know it, you won't be able to see it for a while. Then, then it'll come back and we'll work towards a full moon once again. What we got right now is some cold air that's diving on down from the northwest. That's creating a lot of snow further off to the north. But this whole area of the jet stream like this is going to be moving off to the east and there's a lot of warm air out west and that's going to try and move our way. Now we got a beautiful picture of Lookout Mountain from Pep Grimes of all the trees there along one of the lakes there. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. The trees were just gorgeous last weekend. It's not going to be as great this weekend but and then it's going to get worse and worse and worse because all the leaves are growing fast. I know in my backyard they are. Got a bunch of hickory trees back there and they were gorgeous about a week ago but not so much right now. We got some of the uh, lake effect snow showers still coming off Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York State, off of Lake Erie and off uh, Lake Ontario, even a little bit up near Lake Michigan too. This is tropical storm Iota, still a tropical storm. It's weakening quickly, but you can see the circulation still there. It was so powerful when it moved on shore. Uh, and it's going to fade out over El Salvador. So this is the latest look from the hurricane center. You can see the track of this thing as it formed as a depression and then move right towards Nicaragua, then over Honduras, now real close to El Salvador. It's only got 40 mile an hour winds and coming up by tomorrow morning, 30 mile an hour winds. Could move into the uh, Pacific Ocean, it probably will. Uh, it should weaken according to the Hurricane Center, but that's not 100% not for sure. 46 right now in the city, 45 Dalton, 39 in Cleveland and 43 in Murphy. Still a northerly wind making it feel a little bit colder. 61 and 36 for the high and the low for today. Scott watchers told me near 60 south of the city, many spots, Somerville was the warmest spot at 63. Cleveland got up to 59, 61 Saudi, Daisy and Trenton across the metro area were the warmest spots. And then right across the rest of the area, pretty much in the 50s, except for Delano, which got down 28 last night in Delano. 61 for the high though, 55 on your Murphy and Jasper at about 63. Latest Vipercast is showing hardly anything around here. We're gonna start to have a southerly wind by the end of the week. And that's going to increase the temperature as a little frontal system stalls to the north. So that's where all the rain's going to be right through Saturday afternoon. Uh, tonight, 33 clear skies. Now with the winds blowing like they are, it's going to be a little tougher to get some frost. Now, maybe sheltered areas that aren't seeing the wind could see some frost uh, for tonight. But temperature is close to freezing, so you may want to cover up some of the plants. 58 tomorrow, lots of sun, northerly winds. Tomorrow night, 37 with clear skies. And seven-day forecast on Thursday, 63. Friday, a little warmer, 67. Coming up on Saturday and Sunday, near 70 degrees, lows in the 40s. And then on Monday and Tuesday, there is a chance we could see some rain moving in. Some of the commuter ballots are going, oh yeah, it's coming in. And some of the other ones are going, eh, forget about it. It's not going to happen. So it's still up in the air, but temperatures will be a little bit cooler for next week. But the weekend's looking fantastic, right? Paul, thanks.